Measuring an angle in radians has many benefits over measuring it in degrees, in particular in this application that we're about to look at. With circle sectors, it massively simplifies the formulae for area and arc length of a circle. Before I have a look at this question though, I want to do a quick tutorial on circle sectors. So roughly drawn a circle sector there. When I refer to the arc length of a circle sector, I mean this length here. So that's the arc length. And that there is the radius. When the angle is measured in radians, which is indicated by the little c there, the superscript c, the formulae are massively simplified. So the arc length, L, rather than being 2 pi r times whatever the angle is over 360, it simply becomes r theta. And the area, that becomes a half r squared theta. Much more simple than the formula that you learnt at GCSE. So let's have a look at the question now. Let's apply these formulae. So it says, find the exact length of the arc AB. Well, looking at the question, we can see that the radius is 12, and the angle is 2 thirds pi radians. So applying this formula R theta, 12 times the angle, 2 thirds pi, which turns out to be 8 pi. So that's that part of the question done. Part 2. Find the exact area of this shaded segment enclosed by the arc AB and the chord AB. Now it's extremely important when looking at questions to do with radians that our calculator is in radians mode. If we're going to be using sine cos or tan of an angle, it's really important that this is in radians mode. We can check whether it is by looking at the little square here with a letter in it. If the, square set, if the letter in the square says D, it means degrees. So ours here does say D, degrees. So we're going to change it by pressing shift, then set up. And here we we'll want to change the angle unit, which is option 2, to radians, which is option 2. And now you can see that the square has a little R in it. OK, so the circle sector has area a half times r squared times theta which turns out to be popping in the calculator one half times r squared times theta which is equal to 48 pi so that's the area of the full circle sector now let's look at the area of the triangle so triangle area now the area of a triangle you should remember from GCSE which is a half AB sine C and remember when we're finding the sine cos or tan of an angle that's in radians our calculator must be in radians mode look for that little R there okay so that is a half times one of the sides 12 times the other side 12 times the sine of the angle sine of 2 thirds pi let's type that in there 1 half times 12 oh, let's get that right half times 12 times 12 times sine of 2 thirds pi which is equal to 36 root 3 and we can see from the diagram that the total area of the shaded region is the area of the circle sector 48 pi so the area equals 48 pi take the area of the triangle which is 36 root 3 now it asks for the answer in exact form so that's a perfect form to leave it in for more resources like this and some categorised exam questions, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.